Hello and welcome. We're CTS Cement, developer of high early strength rapid set cement and component shrinkage compensating cement. In just a moment, we're going to demonstrate some of our rapid set cement products. I'm Matt Sample, Vice President of Product Development. And first, a little background about CTS. CTS stands for Chemtech Services. We were founded by Ed Rice in 1976. Now, he had a background in the pre stressed concrete industry, and he was always looking to build a better mousetrap. In the mid-1950s, he worked with Dr. Alexander Klein, who had recently discovered that he could make an expansive cement using calcium sulfaluminate, also known as the Klein compound. Well, today we call it CSA. But in the following years, that cement was modified to make it rapid setting, and CTS began selling it under the rapid set name in 1979. Since then, CTS Cement has become the largest U.S. manufacturer of CSA cement. Rapid set cement delivers speed, strength, and durability. These products are fast. Many of our products get structural strength in as little as one hour, allowing us to put our projects into service sooner. We also have very low shrinkage and high su uh, uh, superior resistance to sulfate attack. It's a tongue twister. So I also mentioned uh, durability. We have some new durability data out of the I-10 freeway in Los Angeles. Back in 1998, Caltrans installed two lane miles over just a 55 hour closure window. Well, 25 years later, Caltrans allowed us to come back out and sample that in-place concrete. So thank you to Caltrans, one, for letting us get back out on that freeway, and two, for handling all of the phone calls and emails because of all the extra traffic in Los Angeles with those lane closures. Anyway, what we found is that that concrete had uh, compressive strength over 11,000 PSI and a calculated flexural strength of almost three times what it was when they opened it back in 1998. And finally, the global warming potential of rapid set cement is about 30% lower than Portland cement and about 20% lower than Portland limestone cement. With local, state, and federal governments looking to tie project funding to uh, material emissions, that's key. Now these numbers are documented in our Environmental Product Declaration, or EPD. This is a third-party certified accounting of uh, material manufacturing impacts. So what this means is since 1990, CTS has saved the Earth over 1.5 billion pounds of carbon emissions. And uh, we're very proud to do our part to reduce global carbon emissions. Anyway, Rapid Set's been used in a wide range of applications from highway and airport panel replacements to large industrial and commercial floors. It's been used in tilt-up construction, cast in place, precast, uh, really all aspects of concrete construction, repair, and restoration. So let's get started mixing. Today we're going to install, we're going to show you how to mix and install the Rapid Set Concrete, Rapid Set DOT Concrete Mix, and Asphalt Resurfacer and Asphalt Repair Mix. So the uh, Rapid Set Concrete Mix is a, it's kind of our jack of all trades product. It's, it can be used for anything from setting posts to large pavement, uh, you know, concrete repairs. Uh, it also gains strength in just one hour. The DOT Concrete Mix is fiber reinforced and polymer modified and it includes corrosion inhibitor to protect our embedded rebar. And that one's ready for traffic in two hours. Then we have the asphalt resurfacer and the asphalt repair mix. Both of these are cement-based uh, repairs for asphalt that um, those can be opened up for traffic as well in, uh, in two hours. So we're installing here the concrete mix. This mix has 3 8 inch aggregate. It's great for repairs from two inches up to 24 inches thick. In the field, we recommend preparing our substrate. We need a roughened concrete surface uh, that's free of any materials that may inhibit bond, like oil or uh, curing compound or, or uh, loose debris. It's got about 10 minutes of working time, so we definitely want to make sure that all of our personnel and our equipment are ready to go before we even start mixing. We've seen unprepared crews uh, lose their material, where it'll set up in their buckets or set up and you know ruin their equipment. Um, of course, that wouldn't happen to anybody here, you know, but uh, we've seen it happen in the past. So, 10 minutes working time, we can install it with traditional means, with a, a trowel or a float or anything that we would normally use on uh, a normal concrete. Once this material is set, we want to water cure it. So, um, what the water curing does, it helps to keep the right amount of water in the concrete so it can properly hydrate and gain the right amount of strength. This rapid set concrete mix will get 3,000 PSI in just one hour and will exceed uh, 6,000 PSI in 28 days. 
Also, because it's based on rapid set cement, it has very low shrinkage, which means we have less risk of cracking, which will give us longer uh, durability. And then, of course, it can be finished with any traditional means. It can be uh, trowel, floated, broom finished, whatever you need. All right, what Rafa's bringing out now is the DOT concrete mix. This is, uh, it's very similar in that it has the 3 8 inch aggregate and it can be used for two inches up to 24 inches thick. But this one's polymer modified and fiber reinforced. So this is great on infrastructure projects like, uh, like roadways, pavements, sidewalks, uh, manhole repairs, uh, really any kind of infrastructure application. We've developed this one to be easy to use. It's got a little bit more working time, about 15 to 20 minutes of working time. Um, but we still want to make sure everybody is prepared and ready to, to mix and apply quickly uh, because we still don't have all day with this material. So as you can see, Sandra's just installing it uh, you know, by normal methods. We also want to water cure this one as well. So uh, as soon as it starts to harden, but before it loses its moisture, we want to come back and give it a water cure. Again, that helps it to have the right amount of water in the material to properly hydrate. The compressive strength on this one, this will get 3,000 PSI in two hours and will exceed 6,500 PSI in 28 days. The DOT concrete mix also includes a corrosion inhibitor and so that will protect our embedded rebar which will extend the life of our structures. It helps to keep the, the water and the salts from penetrating in and attacking that rebar and causing corrosion. How many of us work in areas where the temperatures drop below freezing? We got one over here. <laughs> Everybody else works in Southern California. Um, anyway, this is uh, developed for high freeze thaw durability. So it's great for applications where you have very cold temperatures as well. And because it's based on rapid set cement, very low shrinkage, reduced risk of cracking compared to Portland cement products. So I think we're not going to demonstrate the asphalt resurfacer today, but I'll tell you a little bit about it. It's a cement-based repair for asphalt. So that one can go from uh, what is the thickness? one eighth up to two inches thick on the asphalt resurfacer. So that's ideal for um, any kind of asphalt you want to resurface or, or fix, um, make it look like new again. It's designed to look like asphalt, but because it's based on rapid set cement, it's going to last a lot longer. It's got the durability of concrete. That product is fiber reinforced, it's polymer modified, and it has post-consumer recycled rubber to give to allow it to flex just a little bit, just like your existing asphalt. But again, because it's based on rapid set cement, it has the durability and the higher strength that you'll get. So that one can go up to two inches thick. The asphalt repair mix has a lot of the same features of the asphalt resurfacer, but it includes the 3 8 inch aggregate. So this is great for deeper pothole repairs. This can go, again, just like the other ones, from two inches up to 24 inches deep. So as you can see, it's designed to match the look of asphalt, but it's also based on rapid set cement. Now, no water curing is required on the asphalt repair, the asphalt resurfacer or the asphalt repair mix. Uh, both of them are, are self-curing, so we don't need to add that extra water, but on hot, windy, or dry days, it still does help to add a little bit of extra moisture to the surface. Just be aware, because of the color, any kind of added water onto the surface can affect the, the appearance of the, of the product. So it's very easy to install. If any of you are familiar with the cold patch type of repairs, you pour it, the, you know, the product into the hole and you have to tamp it down. It's really hard to get it flat. Usually you leave, either leave it a little bit high, or maybe they do get it flat, then it subsides and shrinks into the hole. This one is so much easier to use because it's, it's just like your concrete, add water to it, you can finish it just like you would a concrete material. And because it's very low shrinkage, it's easy to get flat and it won't shrink and subside into that hole. So that's our asphalt repair mix. I think we've got a few projects up on the screen. Well, Holmes Drawbridge this has been uh, North Carolina, but this it had a, uh, the drawbridge had put rest on these bearings that were anchored into concrete, and the concrete needed to be repaired. It was, it was uh, disintegrating over time, so, uh, but NCDOT said you could only do the repairs and close it off to traffic between the hours of uh, 7 p.m. and 6 a.m. on weekdays. 
and so they had to raise the drawbridge. They used DOT concrete mix because it was very fast setting. They were able to get that structural strength in two hours, and they closed the drawbridge to open it up uh, by 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. the next morning. That project carried a $2,000 fine for any late openings for every 15 minutes, and over the course of that project, not once did they have to pay that fine. The I-10 in Texas, this one had, uh, the cross beam was taken out by an oversized big rig, and so they had to uh, replace the cross beam, but they needed to repair 10 pedestals, 10 concrete pedestals, in order to get that cross beam on there. And they used our rapid set concrete mix to repair the pedestals. They were able to get that structural strength very quickly, install that beam in less than 24 hours, and then they were able to open it up to, to traffic very quickly. And the Salem Inn Road Bridge in Massachusetts, this bridge was built in 1870, and it had been repaired multiple times, but again, in I think 2019, uh, it was up for repairs again. The challenging thing on this project is they had very high temperatures and very low temperatures on the same project. So they used the DOT concrete mix, and they used, the, uh, they used hot water when it was very cold to kick it off, and warming blankets, I think we can see that in one of the photos. And then when it was hot, we used cold water and used our uh, set control, which is a set retarding admixture to give it a little bit extra working time. They were able to finish those repairs, and that bridge is expected to last for another 20 years. So now's your chance to come on up and get your questions answered by our technical experts here. We've got more demonstrations throughout the day, so please stick around for those. And I'm going to hand the mic to Izzy. Izzy's going to take you over and let you get your hands on some of these products. So Izzy, let's have some fun. That, that's right, Matt. Let's have some fun. Guys, give Matt Samble a hand. That was awesome explanation. Explanation there. Now, Matt, they understood what you said, right? Did you hear everything that he said? Do you know the information now? Now, how about working with the product? I'd like for you guys to come on over. I got a playhouse right over here to my left. Follow us all over here. We've got some mud. I'm mixing it for you. Come right over here, right here to my left. We're going to do some mud mixing. And I want to see who can fix some spalls. I got some holes here that need some fixing. What product we working here today? Oh, concrete mix. I need some volunteers. We got the cement. We got the, 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 the trials. I just need a volunteer. Can I get a volunteer, please? Who wants to have a trial in their hands? You, you, hey, that you got the right jacket right there. Come on. Let's, come on, brother. Come on up here. Don't be shy. Come on up here. We got, we, we're going to get you some mud. We're just going to have you pour some in there and do exactly what you saw Sandro do. You didn't see it? No, I, I well, you know, well, you know what? I'll tell you what. I got Rafael here. He's going to guide you. And what's your name? CJ. CJ, CJ what, what company do you work with? Florida Polymers. All right, well, give it up for CJ. First volunteer. No fear. CJ, we got that Rocky music going on for you, all right? Just waiting for the product. So this is this is concrete mix, the product that you just saw Sandro do. So Rafa's gonna pour it for you, and then all we just want to see you go ahead and give it a nice smooth look. Yep. If you want to do a broom finish, go right ahead. Jackets, man. CJ's got this in the bag right here. Look at that. So go ahead and smooth it out there, and then if you want to give it a broom finish, CJ, hook it up. Detail it. You're on the job. Everybody's looking at you, CJ. There you go. Make it look good. There you go. Nice. Who's hiring CJ? Who's hiring CJ on your next project? Give it up, CJ. Thank you very much. CJ, you're looking now. Who else want to try this? Who, want, who wants to mess up CJ's work and redo it again? Come on. Another volunteer. Come on. 
messing it up, see what you got. So you poured the cement, you had it all good, and somebody done stepped in your cement. Now you gotta go ahead and fix it again. Let's see what you got. CJ, don't worry, man. He ain't gonna make you look too bad. He ain't gonna make you look bad. Oh, hold on a second now, CJ. CJ, hold on a second now. Hold on now. <laughs> What's your name, brother? Jose. Jose. What company you work for, Jose? Big Bull Industry. For Orange Company, Big Bull Industry. Big Bull Industry. Man, this guy's been doing this for some time. How many years? His first time, would you hire him so far? Man, give him a hand. TJ's his first time. <laughs> TJ's like, I did it and I didn't even see what Sandro did. I just walked up there and bam, handled it. Let's finish it up, let's finish it up. What do we got? The broom finish, look at that. Ah, give him a hand. Come on, give him a hand. Who else wants to give this a try? Who else wants to give this a try? We're out on the job site. Oh, man, somebody done messed up his work. Somebody done messed up his work. Come on up. Come on up. I love it when you just volunteer. And your name, please. Marielos. Marietos? Oh, nice. And, and what company? Progreso, Guatemala. There you go. She ain't playing around. Come on, we done messed it up for you. Uh-huh, uh-huh, he, he went through all that hard work and effort, got hired, and now we're gonna mess it up. And you only get 15 minutes to work with this product. Only 15 minutes, and look at her. It's already starting to stiffen up on her. How does it feel so far? It's good. It's good. It's good. Come on. You next? All right. That's what I'm talking about. Let's give it a nice broom finish. There you go. There you go. She's hired. She's hired. Another one in the industry. All right. Give it up. Give it up. Another one in the industry. My man, you next. Come on up. Mess it up. Put your foot right in there. Just put your foot in there. You just stepped it. <laughs> nah, don't put your foot in there. <laughs> we can't buy you another shoe. We'll mess it up for you and go ahead and work with the product. And your name, sir? Uh, Siyum. Siyum, Dowd. Siyum. And what company? Uh, Steve Cohn Engineering. All right, give him a hand. Come on. He ain't scared. He ain't scared. Let's see what you got, brother. Even with it already starting to set up on him, he's still showing the technique and the control. It's getting stiffer, isn't it? Sorry? It's, it's getting stiffer. So the reason why it's actually giving you more than the 15 minutes Rafa just informed me is because we put set control, a retarder, to give you 15 extra minutes. 15 extra minutes per packet. See you, you got the eye of the tiger, man. The eye of the tiger. Let's clean this brush up for you. And let's see what type of artistry you got. How you gonna finish it? Oh, okay, he gave a little distress there. Nice, very nice. Another one hired, another one, Bill Banker. What's going on? Hey, thank you very much. See you. High five it, baby. Loving it, brother. Bill, you want to come on up here and show us how it's done? Come on, Bill. Give it up, Bill. Ace Savant in the house. Well, thank you guys for coming out. This was a Concrete Mix. Our next show is at 11 o'clock. We'd love to see you come back at 11 o'clock. We're gonna put, uh, keep playing the music. Bat Sambo's gonna give you another demonstration, so come see us at 11 o'clock and 
Welcome to the World of Concrete 2024.